what to do. I don't know what to do. It hurts so bad. But I don't know if it's just like regular pregnancy pains or contraction. And I never had to go through this. I didn't go through it with Corin. With Christian, I kind of felt it, but I don't, I don't know. I was in like counting contraction. And this hurt. Ooh, okay, so I, I want to say I definitely had a contraction at. 12:39. That was definitely a contraction. Um, and so, like, he said every 15 minutes and go to the hospital. But the thing is, I don't want to go to the hospital, and then they send me home. Like, right now, it's okay. Like, my back hurt and my pelvic hurt. My pelvic is, like, burning. My lower back hurt. That's better. I don't want to. Uh, um, um, oh, it's definitely contractions. I just. Okay, I'm going to go. This we could just get a lift home if they send us home. Because I can't. I really feel like I'm having a contraction. Oh, it hurts so bad. But I want to get these pictures taken. Because. Okay. Oh. I don't know how I'm going to do this. It hurts. Out. And then nothing packed. Okay, close. Just stay down with the just one of the taking the baby in the morning, probably. Oh, and you won't go home and get clothes. I have to. Okay. Oh, it hurts. Well, I can't even just have him do the pictures or whatever you got to do. I, I don't even know if I can. I want to, but I don't know if I can. It hurts so bad. Mm. The, the dress that's hanging in the closet. Mm. Okay, no maternity pictures for me. Mm. That makes me so angry and sad. Okay, they might send me home, so let's not like, get ahead of ourselves. Okay. Um. What? Okay, give me that dress. What dress? Well, I want to get dressed first. Okay. It's that long one. No. I need to be comfortable right now. I know. You need the, the one? No, no. I thought that was it. It's something that looked like that, but it's probably thicker. Because it's still cold outside, huh? Oh, oh my gosh. Ow! Look, no, it would be towards the front. Or is it? Ooh, no, it's, it's it's the same color as that dress that you had. It might be behind that dress. Uh, I don't see it. And I know it's up there because I haven't worn it. Ah! Ah! No, it's in the front then. Can you open the closet door so I can see? And then... Oh, God. Okay, it's behind that coat. Right there. Oh. Yes. Oh, gosh. Ow. You want to call now? I'll call Kevin. You can well, I'm, I'm asking because I'm so... Yes. This is going to take me a minute. It's going to take me a minute to get dressed. It's going to take me a minute to get dressed, but okay. Because I really can't move. It hurts. <laughs> oh, if they, oh, if they send me home, I'm coming. I'm taking these, these pictures, my maternity pictures. But I don't know, y'all. It hurts so bad. 
I'm like 50-50. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to send me home or not. This has uh, just been such a horrible pregnancy. I'm ready to get it over with. But today does not look like a day. So right now, I guess they just monitoring me. But the contractions were so bad. But like once I went to the bathroom, um, it got better. Like I guess you could say they slowed down. Cause it's like I still feel it in my back. I feel like I'm having one now, but I'm so over this. I'm like really aggravated and agitated. And I'm just ready to get this over with so I can, like, move on and, uh, like, to the next chapter of my life. It has just been a horrible experience for me from, like, the beginning. My face is so dry. He's about to start snoring. He has work tomorrow, so I guess I'm just about to... I sit here and find something to do until they send me home. Okay, so y'all can't tell I was crying. Because I'm just so frustrated and like aggravated. Uh, my face is so dry. Y'all don't understand. I have nothing here. Like, I literally just have like my purse uh, with like a toothbrush in it. So I'm still contracting somewhat. Um, but apparently the, okay, so the nurse just checked me. It is five, I'm sorry, that block is wrong. It's 4.36 a.m. Today is February 20th. Kevin is sleeping. He's snoring. But I don't know if y'all can hear it. That's baby's heartbeat. Like, I'm, I'm just irritated and I'm hurting and having, like, like these contractions are, as the nurse said, like, not this nurse, but the nurse from before, irritations. Like, it hurt, like, right now I'm contracting, but, like, I don't, y'all, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going on, and it's frustrating me because, um, when they first checked me when I got here, I want to say she said, like, I wasn't dilated, and at my appointment on Friday, my doctor said I wasn't dilated. He said, you know, like I wasn't, you know, like um, my cervix was closed and everything. So she just checked me and she said that I'm like one centimeter dilated. And so it's like right now I'm just like looking rough and feeling rough like it hurts. I guess they won't check again and call my doctor and see what my doctor say. No. Ow. Oof. Like, I want to get comfortable. And make myself presentable. Y'all don't know how bad this hurt. Well, some of y'all do. confused and I'm frustrated like I was crying I look horrible I feel horrible I don't know if today is breed day or not oh. I'll keep y'all updated so I just got the sleepy medicine because oh, I was having so many like contractions y'all this medicine is gonna like put me to sleep i feel it already yeah so i'm gonna be out in literally like a few seconds kevin is already sleeping like he just, he just missed everything i'm just so glad that they gave me this medicine though because y'all, them contractions was everything. Them contractions was kicking my butt. 
I guess they're gonna check me um, in like a little while, like maybe an hour or two, and see if I dilated anymore. Cause last time they checked, I was still at one. So yeah, he's still knocked out. Um, I don't even think he know what's going on. Ooh, y'all, my legs feel so weightless. My body feel weightless. This feel good. Whatever this is, I need. Nah, like I really will become addicted to this, y'all. This feels so good. Okay. Let me get off here because this is about to knock me out. This is bad, baby. I'm sleepy, girl. I just sedated you. In your stomach like a perfect ball. <laughs> Most people think I'm having a boy. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they say that. Because the way your stomach shape. <laughs> I hope it's not a boy. What you got at home? Uh, I have two boys at home already and a girl. Oh, okay. I wanted uh, another boy because girls are expensive and my daughter is a handful already. But I already brought stuff for a girl, so okay. <laughs> let's yeah, let's hope it's still a girl. Yeah. But y'all heard that my daughter is perfect, Brielle, baby, baby girl, you are the perfect ten, baby. Yo, I can barely keep my eyes open, like I'm seeing double. But yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. Y'all hear Brielle? I think she's sleeping now. It's so horrible. So, like, I'm really having contractions, y'all. Like, these are real contractions, and they're they're like they're really intense, and they they keep coming. So, So basically, I'm I'm still one centimeter, so I'm dilated anymore. I don't know what that means. And I'm I'm 30, 36 weeks in like three days. So so they don't want to take me because I guess like the nurse said like that's still preterm. Then they decide they're gonna keep me because my contractions are too intense, like or too happening too frequently. They're saying that um it's as if, you know, I'm having contractions like I'm in active labor. They gave me a shot to relax my muscles, so I stopped contracting. It's, I'm telling y'all, it's just this pregnancy, this pregnancy. <laughs> So don't mind the way I look. That cover has lint all over it. And they got, well, the, the cover, Kevin's like blanket has lint everywhere. Or like little fuzzies everywhere. Um, I'm back home. I've been home since like 12. Because I signed myself out of the hospital. Cause they were getting on my nerves, like they were frustrating me, and I found that, like, with me getting so frustrated that it was just making the situation worse. They told me they were gonna send me home anyway because I wasn't dilating, like I still was at like one centimeter. So, you know, I was like, okay, fine. You know, I was like telling them, like, like trying to tell them like what was going on. I was still having contractions, like really bad. So they was like, okay, we're going to keep you. 
they I got like a shot in each arm of like the medicine that I guess stopped contractions so when I got home it worked so I was just like okay I'm good but I'm trying not to go back to the hospital unless absolutely positively necessary I'm not about to keep running back and forth between my house and the hospital because that's annoying but I'm back home I ate I'm a mess well my dress is a mess I need to wash it because I guess I'll pack it for the hospital again this has been frustrating I have my five below slippers on and I forgot how comfortable they are they're not like super soft like my other slippers but they they slide right on and they like worn in you know how you have like them shoes that you just wear like wore a lot so they just fit your feet like a glove that's how it feels um yeah uh i'm about to go i guess lay back down eventually i'm gonna try to no mommy i was i was saying that food up i was hungry uh bb is still cooking and hopefully she wait till like a day that is acceptable for them to take her because i'm not doing this no more this has been so stressful i'm just so aggravated like everything is aggravating me my husband snoring is aggravating me and like, he been sleeping snoring since last night i'm just like oh my god i just need to woo and stay calm um but yeah i'm gonna try to stay hydrated and uh continue to wait on bb to get here slowly but surely the days are passing by 18 more days to go she could just stay in here until the 10th when i know she's gonna come out because i ain't got time for this my patience is non-existent at this point I'm so over it but yeah i'm just about to go relax and then i guess like set up my shoot for my maternity pictures and i might check back in with y'all i don't know it depends on how i feel like right now i'm out of breath i guess i'm about to go like lay down drink a lacroix because if you ask me lacroix is water okay sparkling water is water so i'm about to go drink me a lacroix and count bb movements for the hour to keep track of that and since bb y'all see that blanket got little fuzzies everywhere so annoying it's like all on my dress Y'all just don't know how aggravating that is. Yeah. 36 weeks, three days.